Hello and welcome to Mr. Barton's Gapminder World video number 7. Now a question for you here to start this week's video. Which country do you reckon is the biggest emitter of CO2 per person? And secondly, what do you reckon the relationship is between how rich a country is and their emissions of CO2 per person? And how has this changed over time? Lots to think about and only one way to get to the answers. Here we go. So, what I've got here is a graph, and again on the x-axis I've got our favourite thing, income per person, as a measure of wealth. And on the y-axis I've got CO2 emissions in tonnes per person. And look where we are in 1860. Now let's have a look at some of the countries. Not a lot of data going on. Um, United Kingdom is the richest country in the world, and the biggest emitter of CO2. And the other country I'd like to keep your eye on is this one here, the United States. Currently nowhere near as big an emitter as the United Kingdom. But let's see how things change as the world moves forward in time. So I'm going to hit play and keep your eye on the USA and the UK. So we're coming to the end of the 19th century. And here we go. The USA is taken over. Now I'll just stop here. Another country's entered the mix. Our friend China. Now I wonder if China is going to catch up as it has in many of the other graphs. So at the moment the United States is absolutely flying in terms of emissions. And also notice the further to the right you are the richer you are. So the richest country in the world. United Kingdom not far behind. Let's see what happens over the next few years. As we keep pressing play. Up and down, up and down. China again is making some dramatic move to the left as it gets poorer. But notice emissions aren't increasing the way that people might expect. Got a few other little countries entering the mix here. Let's keep pressing play. Keep your eye on the USA and some of the other countries. Notice the general trend of the graph moving towards the top right, suggesting as countries get richer, their emissions per person increase. And that's what the world looks like in 2006 when there was the last year of the data being available. So United Kingdom is the biggest country that's emitting a lot. You've got a little country here, Luxembourg. Now, if you said what's the most CO2-emitting country, I doubt many people will be saying Luxembourg there, but very rich and very high emissions per person. China hasn't really got going in these emissions, and I wonder why that is. Well, of course, this is per person, and China has a massive population, 1.31 billion in 2006. So emissions per person aren't actually relatively that high. Um, USA, again, leading the way. United Kingdom's been flagging a little bit. Russia is picking up. But does that mean that Luxembourg's the biggest emitter? Well, I've been a bit sneaky here, and what I've done is I've actually zoomed in, and I've limited our range to 0 to 26. If I just look at the full graph, we may see a different picture, 100%. And indeed, what you have is you have some of these little countries here, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, and relative to the United States, they are well over double the amount of emissions per person. If you just want to see where that came from, if I just go back to the start, I'll just go back to 1900, there's not a sign of these countries yet. Watch how they develop here. Watch this as they enter the scene. So they're going to just start shooting up in a minute. Here's well, Look at this one here. Where's this one floating off to? Brunei, look at that, 114 tons per person, all over the show, and again all these little countries start popping in, and as they rapidly develop, the emissions start absolutely flying, okay, now we'll just watch this graph for a second, and I'm going to show you one other graph, because this is per person, and it's quite interesting to look at who are the biggest emitters as a whole. So let's just have a quick look at that. And who do you reckon that's going to be in 2006? So let's change this. Let's go down. I think it's um, on environment. There it is. Emissions. And we will go for... Where's it gone here? There you go. Yearly CO2 emissions. Give that a click. I'll just wait till the graph emerges. And firstly, I like that. I always like when the, you get graphs that don't actually show much correlation because you think there might be a link between income per person and yearly CO2 emissions. But of course, it's the size of the country that's dominating. So now you've got China's absolutely pumping out emissions left, right and centre. Probably just about, well, just a, a bit more than the United States. But of course, it didn't show that on the other graph because it was per person. So I'll leave you to have a little play around with that. So that's CO2 emissions and that's this week's Gapminder World video done and dusted. See you next time. Bye-bye.